Hi there and uh, welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see how you can uh, launch uh, your first print uh, right. Um, so the printer I'm using is the Gitec uh, Prusa i3 uh, Pro and uh, Pro B. Uh, so that's how my uh, 3D printer look like. And I have to say that um, at the beginning, after three days of mounting the full uh, 3D printer, and uh, putting the motors and everything, including the software within it. The last thing that I wanted to do is to read the user manual, uh, which is of course uh, the thing that you should not do. So of course you should read uh, the user manual. Um, so not like me the first time. And in fact, thanks uh, and through this user manual, you get two uh, very important files that I'm going to show you right now. So the first file that you need to look for is uh, what we call the config uh, file. So config, config, oops, uh, config file. Okay, this given file that you should have uh, within your manual. So this is um, a small uh, config file that you need to import within your slicer, um, or at least within your slicer software. So in my case, I'm using slice slicer. Uh, so you just go over here, just uh, click here on load config, and you load. Uh, the file that uh, I was showing you that you get uh, through your manual. Then the second thing that you can do is that uh, you can look for the STL uh, file, which is over here, which is the model that they would like uh, you to, to use. And uh, once uh, you have actually the config right, and once you have your model uh, right, so of course you use your slicer, then you get your J code. And once you have your J code, then you can import it uh, through uh, OctoPrint, for example, and then uh, you can uh, you can start to print. Um, so let's uh, let's see a little bit how it looks like. So here I just uh, launched. Um, uh, an object to be printed, so it's a uh, it's a cube. Uh, that's the uh, regular cube that you get uh, uh, when you use uh, Blender. And uh, as you can see, this is what uh, the now the 3D printer is doing is kind of printing the the full cube. Uh, just to let you know that the first time that I tried to print, uh, I didn't get it right because the extruder, so which is the following one, which depends on the Z axis was going uh, too far and makes actually all my uh, all my printers uh, the wrong way so if it happens to you uh, what you need to do is that you need to uh, go back uh, within octoprint and here you get the um, g-code uh, viewer and within the g-code viewer you can in fact send some instruction and the instruction that you need to send are okay please um, change the way the Z axis is uh, is working. So in order to know uh, what is the right command to send, just need to look through forum in order to say, okay, please instead of uh, moving, let's say like um, I don't know, like uh, 30 millimeters up, you just move by one millimeter and then it will do the the full thing right. So um, I'm not gonna let uh, the video on for all uh, the for all the process, so if I look back on my on my printer over here, um, I'm not gonna make the full process. But at the end of the day, I will get a cube like this one. So here, probably gonna take something like uh, 50 minutes in order to uh, to get it right. But uh, in 50 minutes, I will get exactly the same cube, unless uh, my cube is getting out of the plate, which could happen sometime. And if that's the case, why well, you need actually to uh, monitor your printer accordingly. And that's it uh, for today, so hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.